Hello, this is a channel of the only true ideology. Yes, join me on the only correct path towards better tomorrow and progress. <laughs> Just kidding. Of course, it's me. You know, I don't believe in any ideology. So, uh, let's join me onto the path towards correct weight, towards weight loss. And I do not want you to follow me if anything, borrow from me, like Friedrich Nietzsche, who believed that a man should not be a slave to any ideology, he should create his own values. So how has my weight loss has gone since I weighed between 214 and 216 pounds half a year ago? So I used to weigh 280 pounds and I lost 65 pounds over four years and then over the last uh, half a year, I lost extra five pounds. When I went to the doctor on Friday, they waited me at 209. How did I do it? So uh, for the major part, I lost majority of weight by simply changing frequency. And sometimes changing frequency of the foods I ate, uh, I eliminated those foods. And by foods, I meet anything with substantial amount of calories such as, uh, for example, chocolate milk. Doesn't have to be solid food, can be any food. Then also moving from two apartments into one uh, did give me a jump of 20 pounds. However, because I did not change my eating habits, you know, the 10 pounds came back, but the other 10 pounds of 20 pounds stayed permanently off because while I was regaining 10 pounds, I did change my eating habits to help me to keep that weight off and to use that jump, you know, uh, to progress on my weight loss journey. So, uh, you know, uh, what did I do to lose extra five pounds to go from 214 to 216 to let's say 209 to 11? What did I do? Uh, I started intermittent fasting. And initially it was done the way the US Army does it in a basic IT, where the chow hall closes at uh, 6 p.m. or like European says, 18, eight, hour 18, closes at 6 p.m. or 18. Europeans don't say 1800s. They don't use the military time per se, not exactly like the military, they use this in a civilian manner. So to them it's 18. It's not 1800s. So it's closed at 6 p.m. and uh, it reopened after 7 a.m. So you did certain light intermittent fasting in a basic IT in the military because you do not eat for 13 hours out of 24 hours. However, I started with 13 hours a day of fasting and I went to 16 hours a day of fasting. And I do not do it religiously. Doesn't mean I'm gonna do it every single day. No, I don't but I do it about 90 to 95% of time. And it helped me, it actually got me to lose extra five pounds, which is good. And right now I'm gonna have to be very, very careful because when I was, uh, I did go through a tertiary growth spawn between ages of 23 and 26, and I went from six feet flat to six feet, six feet and a half an inch, which in military was written as six feet and one inch. So I grew half an inch between ages of 23 and 26. Uh, but before I grew the half an inch, you know, when I was just six feet flat and I was much younger, I did get to perfect weight of 189, 190 pounds. And it was beautiful because I had beautiful abs showing and I was so happy, but I was very unhealthy. And if somebody did my blood test then, then most likely they would see cholesterol out of the roof, you know, going to the roof, you know, just crazy cholesterol. Because what I was doing, I was starving myself and, rewar and rewarding myself, myself with things like ding-dongs, you know, like a junk food. That was very unhealthy. I'm not gonna do it again because I care more about my health than having, than having a beautiful six pack, you know, on my stomach. And right now I feel happy. I do exercise, 
I do run and I notice that I have to start with by running four kilometers a day, which is about, uh, you know, uh, two and a half miles. And uh, then I run it about four times a week to five times a week. And that's it. And then I do chin ups. I, uh, for when I was 280 pounds, I could do one chin up and I went from one chin up to nine chin ups right now. That's how many I can do. You know, in a military, if you in Army's infantry, there is no any official requirement. But by your second year in Army's infantry, they want you to be able to do at least 10 chin ups. Right now, I'm back to at least nine chin ups, uh, nine correct chin ups. You know, but I, but I want to go above 10 chin ups eventually. And I'm also doing push ups. There was a moment when I was doing 60, 65 push ups sometimes, but I was not healthy because I could see I do suffer from high blood pressure. So I could see that it was raising my high blood pressure. So I radically cut back on it and I went down to 40 push-ups, uh, two to six times a day, depends on the day whether I'm working, what time I woke up, another, you know, uh, and, and other factors that would influence it. But I do between two and six times a day. And now I came back and right now I'm doing Initially, I usually do 55 push-ups, and then I do 53, 53, 53, you know, uh, uh, two to six times a day. Not every day, just every other day. And uh, I also do sit-ups, which I do also two to six times a day. And right now I'm up to uh, 65 sit-ups, and within two minutes, 65 flutter kicks. That's pretty much what I do for exercise mostly, and I do other things but I'm not going to mention them because they are done in a smaller way. I also try to become more flexible and that's pretty much all I do. So uh, I feel good. I feel good about my body, even though it's not perfect, you know, it may be not perfect. I may not have six pack, but I have some muscle. I can flex them, you know, I feel strong and I feel overall healthy in spite of my high blood pressure and uh, in spite of having a, to take uh, uh, statins uh, for, uh, you know, uh, statins and omega-3 for uh, high cholesterol and uh, for high triglycerides, which right now are controlled with medication and diet. You know, some people think medication is some kind of pass that you, you know, do not have to take care of yourself. No, medication is supposed to help you take care of yourself. Medication is not a solution in itself, usually not. So pretty much that's all I have to say. And uh, I see you next time and have a great day.